What's going guys, Zendus here and today in this video of Thrust Chronicle, let's talk about Evolve. How to evolve a character, what sort of new features that will get unlocked when you evolve a character, what sort of stat boost that you are gonna get when you are gonna evolve a character. We are gonna discuss about all of them in this video today. So, let's get this started. Our sample over here is gonna be Barong, he's gonna be our hamster today for the evolve. I recently got him and I would really want to evolve him because there are so many stuff that I can get with him after I evolve him. So let's start with his basic detail. So right here you can see that like his attack stat, max HP stat, defense stat and magical resistance stat will improve when he is evolved but not by a significant number or amount okay it's very pathetic very low amount okay so i really don't think that it's really uh that good and it really does matter a lot it really does not okay so that's the thing right over there but when it comes to the fusion duration uh it will be extended by seven seconds when you evolve him to five star obviously he drops at a four star grade but when you evolve him he will move on to five star grade and at that Point, his fusion duration will improve by 7 seconds going up to a total period of 77 seconds which I think is pretty awesome alright and the next thing is that like when you evolve him his sub skill number 2 or passive skill number 2 will be unlocked okay so right over here it's uh, in the locked stage because he's still in the 4 star how about in the 5 star when we take him into 5 star or evolve him his sub skill number two passive is actually gonna get unlocked which is known as composer and for most of the characters guys uh this uh second passive actually does provide a lot of benefits okay so i think uh, by evolving a character the best thing that you are gonna get from him or her is gonna be the sub skill number two all right so always try to evolve them to unlock this skill and obviously that this will really provide you an extra upper hand or let's say extra advantage against your opponents in the battle especially the pvp contents depending upon the units all right so uh let's try to evolve him let's see how he is actually gonna perform uh when he's uh evolved okay so let's go back and let's get into the uh main menu or let's say in the lobby uh, section right over here and let's go into the character menu and in the character menu let's go into the evolve section okay so right over here, when I really want to evolve my Barong, what's gonna happen is that like I will be demanded some amount of gold, which I think it's really huge, 400,000 gold, oh my god, that's a lot. And I will be required some of the character owned beads, alright? <laughs> I will be requiring his own beads in order to evolve Barong. So, a total of 300 beads will be required because obviously he is a 4 star net uh, character unit and he's gonna require a humongous amount of character bead that is about 300 whereas for like other units it's very very low okay the demand uh, uh, whereas for the 4 star net it's really really high okay that's the thing that you have to keep in mind alright it's 300 uh, unit or character beads and now where can we actually get that bead you have to go back into the craft section okay so just go into the craft section and in the craft section go into the bead area right over here guys this is the place where you will be able to manufacture the bead of the character that you want which you have already possessed okay you already need to possess a certain character in order to manufacture their beads that's the Thing right over here you won't be able to get the bead or let's say manufacture the bead of those kind of units who are not available in your arsenal who are not available in your inventory or your stash okay uh except for those event type units like let's say Rhonda I still don't have Rhonda but I still can make her beads because she is in the event section okay so sometimes you can actually take the advantage of the uh event I mean like ongoing event and somehow you did not manage to summon a character right of your wish then you can pretty much manufacture from here right at the bat and obviously it does last uh, as the same time as long as the banner actually exists the gacha banner okay it actually kind of resembles to that of the gacha banner anyways let's go into our main topic right over here guys Barong's bead alright so let's try to manufacture it guys alright so I already have owned 30 beads and now I will be requiring extra 270 beads in order to um, evolve him 
to five star, right? So right over here, you can see that like to manufacture one bead of barong, I will be required 10 universal beads. Wow, that's really expensive guys, because when you uh, summon a same character, let's say a dupe or a copy of the same character, you will not receive their extra copy. Their extra copy will be turned into universal shards. And for a four star net character unit, uh, you will be getting only 300 universal beads in exchange to that extra character, all right? With which you can only manufacture up to like 30 character beads, okay? And that is not really that justifiable or fair in my opinion, okay? I think it's a pay to win feature right over here. But anyways, uh, if you keep on summoning a lot, you will be getting a lot of uh, universal bead like I have got right over here. So anyways, I have got 9,985 beads, right? So I need to manufacture 270 more, right? So can I do that? Uh, let's keep on doing it. The number is right over here, right? So let's try to manufacture it. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. Look at that, guys. I nearly got... <laughs> oh my God. That's a lot, right? 270. Where is 270? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need that number. Okay, so plus one. There we go. 270 okay 270 is plus 30 that will take it up to 30 uh, i'm like three 300 okay sorry about that one and let's try to manufacture it right at the bat okay so there we go it required me 2700 um universal bead in order to you know like get 270 barong's bead all right so there we go now we have a total of 300 barong's bead that is sufficient to Evolve her. So let's try to evolve her, shall we? <laughs> let's try to do it, guys. Let's try to do it. Uh, so let's go back and let's go into the character. Let's go into the evolve. And this is the place where we are going to evolve our Barong. Right over here, guys. 300 over 300. I have 400 gold that is required. So thank God <laughs> I have em enough amount. So let's try to evolve him, yes. It says, Barong, would you like to evolve? The selected items will be consumed as the material and disappear. Yes, why not? That's what I really wanted in the first place. <laughs> so yeah, let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, there is a special animation that will go on when you evolve a certain character. So my Barong is now evolved to 5 star. So yeah, that's how it's done, guys. That's how it's done. And obviously, his composer is now unlocked. We says generate additional HP of 25,384 and recovers 4,816 HP when you are the defensive character who successfully blocks. So obviously, you can use him as a yokai unit. And I would really love to pair him up with my blue dragon because my blue dragon really is very good at blocking the attacks all right and obviously with that being around i will be able to enjoy this um passive skill a lot all right so let's do that right over here the max rarity has been increased from four star to five star as promised okay so there we go guys there we go so let's try to battle okay i, re I really want to show you one battle example let's go let's go into the adventure and let's just try to battle in a very, uh, you know, like easy stage, okay? I really don't want to die. I just want to show you all the, you know, like possible features. So right over here, let's try to do this. Right over here. Okay, come on, come on, come on. I will try to do it solo so that like other characters will not interfere in my prowess, okay? So let's try to do it, guys. Let's try to do it. Uh, Barong, I think he's best used as a yokai, okay? Uh, rather than a human unit. But you can use him as a human unit as well. It's really up to you on how you want to use it. But I think as a yokai, he will be good as long as you have a really good unit like uh, Blue Dragon, who has a very short, um, you know, like cooldown on his passive skill. Uh, because thanks to Barong, um, whenever you use a passive skill, you will have your main skill one cooldown reduced by six seconds. Okay, that's really great. So anyways, let's try to do it. There are a lot of things that happens with Barong and he's one of the top tier units in the game. I really do love Barong and if you manage to get in, then congratulations, guys. Congratulations. Barong is superb. 
He's a very superb defensive unit and he can tank a lot of damage and he can heal as well. So how good that is, right? It sounds really good. And being able to spam your main skill one over and over again very frequently due to a shortened cooldown. Wow, I mean like it just makes your gameplay much faster, easier and more enjoyable, okay? And obviously you will have much advantage against your opponents provided that uh, in the main skill one of the Barong there is ton for 5 seconds for 4 enemy units. So that's really great. So right over here guys, let's try to use it. And let's see if I'm actually gonna get some HP shield. So can you see right there? I've got some HP shield, okay? So there we go, guys. Okay, extra HP shield right at the bat. As long as I keep on blocking, okay, uh, there is gonna be a chance that I will be getting an extra HP shield right there. Just see, there are like two bars of HP with uh, my, uh, you know, <laughs> blue dragon, okay? So that is the thing right up there. And he's so good at blocking the damages, guys. He's really good at blocking. And that actually does uh, make a lot of sense right up there, guys. Just look at that. Just look at that. It, I mean, like, he's not even taking any sort of damage. Like, he's uh, being able to be a, like a one-man army, okay? Just look at that, okay? Let's look at that. And thanks to the... Second main skill of Barong, uh, my blue dragon is also able to keep on healing himself up, okay? And thanks to the uh, new unlocked uh, sub skill known as Composer, he's also uh, gaining that extra HP boost, uh, which is appearing as a shield, okay? So there we go. That's how it's done, guys. That's how it's done, all right? So that's really great, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so that's how you evolve a character and gain a very good advantage on the battlefield, alright? And obviously you will be gaining some of the stat boost, which I think is not really that significant though. But the fusion time will be improved by 7 seconds up to 77 seconds, which is really great indeed in my opinion, okay? And being able to unlock your second uh, sub skill is gonna be great, guys. Or second passive skill is really really great so this is the process on how you are going to evolve your character and you are also going to use uh, their sub skill number two okay and just improve your gameplay style all right so this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the content of my channel see you guys in the next video